Hello. Um, before the British Army in World War II standardised the standard metal ammunition boxes, they issued ammunition in all sorts of wooden crates, a lot of which, after the metal ammunition boxes came in, were reused, re-stenciled for post-war use. What I've got here, this is a typical example of a 303 plywood ammo box with metal edges, two metal carrier handles, and this was the standard until the metal box came in. This was the standard World War II ammo box for 303 ammunition, both loose and in a belt. And what happened after the war is simply re-stenciled them. This one's dated 61. And as you can see, it's got post-war stencil on it. 1961 there. Stencil on the top. Reused over many years. The lid is a simple pull-off lid. It's held in place by two brackets. You pull it off. This one's still got the plywood inners. And interestingly, the plywood inners are actually dated 743. So post-war ammo box, World War II inners, which you never see. They're just like dividers. Um, what happens is, these become surplus. They're bought by garage mechanics, um, individual private vehicle owners. And you end up in the car boot sales. You buy the car boot sales for about £2 each. And what you do is, all you really need to do is... You just re-stencil the date there. And if you re-stencil the date, you have a very inexpensive World War II display ammo box. I've done one of these for my Vickers machine gun. I've got about seven of these. I always pick up at the car boot sales. They're always handy to have. And they're a lot rarer than the subsequent metal ammo boxes. And what I've got here, this is one that I repainted. As you can see, it's the same box. It was a post-war box. Repainted it. Re-stenciled it. So now that it reads 30th of the 10th, 1943, perfect display item, fraction of the cost of the original wartime dated one, which I very much doubt you're going to get wartime dated ones now. On eBay, the post-war dated wooden ammo boxes like these sell for 10, 20, 30 pounds. Round the car boot sales, because people use them as storage boxes for many years, you can buy them for two or three quid. I always buy them when I can because they're always handy. As I say, I've got about six or seven of them lying about. So post-war reissued wooden British Army ammo boxes for three or three ammunition. This is the standard one for three or three ammunition before the metal ones came out. After the war, re-stenciled them. When, due to help, probably the early health and safety came in, which meant that ammunition had to be kept in metal boxes. The wooden ones, obviously, they catch fire and are obviously full of ammunition, they catch fire, ammunition goes up in a metal box, it reduces the risk. These become surplus, go in the car boot sales, you can pick up for next to nothing. So, post-war ammo boxes, ideal for re-stenciling for World War II reenactment. So, we'll see you for another video. Bye for now.